If you've been on the fence about whether to try the Walk Snail FPV system, then two things have happened recently that mean that this may be the time to jump. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what those things are and I'm gonna tell you why you might actually wanna wait. I'm Joshua Bardwell and you're gonna learn something today. This is the Walksnail Avatar standalone video receiver. It's a self-contained box that binds to a Walksnail video transmitter and outputs an HDMI feed, which means that if you have any set of FPV goggles with an HDMI input, then you can try the Walksnail system today without having to spend $600 on the Fat Shark Dominator goggles. And that's pretty exciting because the presale has super aggressive pricing. For $240, you can get the video receiver with the standard full-size video transmitter that goes up to 1200 milliwatts and is a little bit larger. Or for $200, you can get it with the 1S video transmitter. That's gonna be the one you want if you have, say anything from about a 95 millimeter and on down, uh, exactly where the line is between the micro and the full size could be debated. If you have a 1S quadcopter, you definitely want the 1S video transmitter though. And this pricing is so, uh, outstanding because those video transmitters go for between 100 and 150 something dollars by themselves, which means that you're basically getting the video receiver for a hundred bucks. And a whole lot of people who are curious about the walk snail system are gonna look at this and go, yeah, okay, 200 bucks, sure. In fact, if you were to buy this today, it seems likely that when this actually goes out of presale, the price is surely gonna go up, right? How much would this sell for? I have no idea. Would it sell for 200, $250? That's my guess. It means that if you buy this today and you don't like it, probably would be able to sell it on the used market later for pretty close to whatever you spent on it now. Well, I can't promise you that that's how it's gonna go, but that seems like one likely outcome. Now, there are some ways in which if you get this, you will not be getting the full walk snail experience. For example, you probably don't have 1080p screens inside your goggles, so, hmm? Well, you could decide. You may not have OLED screens inside your goggles. Depending on the fit and finish of your goggles, you may feel that the walk snail goggles are a little bit better. But if you have a set of goggles that you're happy with now, like Orcas, H HDO2s, Sky Zones, etc., this is a really easy way for you to dip your toe into the walk snail ecosystem. There's another potential drawback that I haven't seen anybody mention, and I can't be sure about this, but since you're coming in through the HDMI input on the goggles, as opposed to with the walk snail goggles where the module is sort of directly connected to the screen display, that mean there's gonna be one additional frame of latency? I don't know, but I, I would guess that there is. I know, for example, that the HD Zero goggles did special things to synchronize the HDMI input with the screen driver so that there was no additional latency. But normally, an HDMI input will add one frame of latency, and at 60 frames per second, that would be uh, 16 milliseconds. We would have to test that, and of course, nobody has this product, so we can't, but it's certainly worth keeping in mind. Speaking of frame rate, that's another downside that you will not get if you use this receiver with any uh, current goggles. All of the current FPV goggles are 60 frame per second display. The upcoming HD Zero goggles will be 90 frame per second. Of course, the DJI goggles are 120 frame per second, but they don't have an HDMI input, so set that aside. If you, you will be able to run the system, presumably at the full 100 frames per second that it supports, but you will not get the lower latency. So basically, if you go with this, chances are that you will be experiencing a little higher latency than people who have the walk snail goggles. But for this price, I think a lot of people are gonna find it compelling. By the way, the HD Zero goggles may turn out to be the best way to experience the walk snail system. And what I mean by that is the walk snail goggles don't have any capability for analog, any capability for external inputs. It's walk snail or nothing. The HD Zero goggles have an HDMI input, so they could be used with this walk snail receiver. They have HD0 built in, and they have one of the best analog systems of any FPV goggle that's released today. They have a really high-end deinterlacer that makes the analog picture look super, super good. Obviously, this is still a prototype, so this is all aspirational, but if this pans out, the HD0 goggles actually will give you everything in FPV except for DJI, 
where you'd need your own goggles. And that's gonna be compelling for a lot of people, although you're gonna spend 600 bucks for the goggles and then you're gonna spend 200 more bucks for the HD Zero and another 150 or $120 for an analog receiver module. It's a lot of money, but you'd be able to use pretty much any FPV system that you want. And that's pretty freaking cool. But I think the people who are gonna be jumping on this are gonna be people who already have a set of analog goggles, they have an HDMI input, and they're like, sure, I'll go for it. If you are one of those people, there's another thing that you need to know about. And that's that Rotoriot is currently running a 30-day money-back guarantee on the Fat Shark Dominator system. That's the same as the Waxnell Avatar system, just same product under a different name. And for those who want to try the product, this has got to be pretty compelling. The way it works is you buy the product, they ship it to you, and yes, it's valid all over the world, anywhere Rotoriot ships. You try it, and if you don't like it, they just send you a shipping label, you put it all back in the box, you send it back and you get your money back. Now, you will be committing to the full goggles as they don't have, they will be selling the standalone unit too, but only Caddx is doing the pre-sale at this time. But again, you buy it and you decide, nah, I would rather get the standalone module. You know, 28 days later, you get the shipping label, you send it back. And by the way, that is 30 days from the day you receive it, not 30 days from the day you order it. They're not pulling any fast ones. So that's the other way that you might wanna jump right now if you feel like jumping. If you do decide that you wanna jump, there are links in the video description. They are affiliate links. It sure would mean a lot to me if you use them. I get a small commission of any sale that comes in through the links. You wanna buy these products or you wanna buy any products. You can also go to my website, fpvknowitall.com and click the support me link and you'll find my affiliate links there. You don't need an affiliate link to a specific product. Just click that link, do your shopping and check out. What do you think of this? How are people gonna turn the Rotoriot 30 day money back guarantee into some way that is bad and Rotoriot is bad for doing it. I know that people often criticize Rotoriot for some of the things they do, but this one seems like just an unmitigated win to me. Am I wrong? Tell me in the comments. I'd like to argue with you about it. What about the VRX? You excited about it? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you think. Happy flying.